Liverpool's blistering run to Saturday's Champions League final has been one of the most remarkable stories of the football season. The Reds were regarded as no more than outsiders at the start of the campaign but have proved all their critics wrong to tee up a shot at a sixth European crown. Standing in their way are Real Madrid, themselves chasing a historic hat-trick of titles and a record 13th in all. Ahead of the huge Kiev showdown, which will be shown exclusively live on BT Sport, we decided to trace Liverpool's extraordinary tale all the way back to August's playoff clash with Hoffenheim. So settle in and relive the key moments of their 40-goal blitz to Kiev, then check out more of our exclusive Real Madrid v Liverpool build-up coverage here. Hoffenheim 1-2 Liverpool Liverpool's European adventure began all the way back in mid-August with their qualifying clash with German side Hoffenheim. Trent Alexander-Arnold's free kick and a known goal earned them victory on the road in the first leg. They were pegged back late on, a foreshadowing of ties to come perhaps, as Mark Uth found space in the box to fire home. Liverpool 4-2 Hoffenheim, AGG 6-3. The tie was firmly put to bed back at Anfield as I'm Ray tucked home early on to give Liverpool breathing space. Mo Salah then notched before and doubled up and with a three-goal lead inside half an hour, it was all but over. UTH and Sandro Wagner did get on the score sheet for the Germans but Roberto Firmino made sure of a spot in the group stages shortly after the hour mark with a goal against his former club. Liverpool 2-2 Sevilla back on the big stage. But Liverpool were just denied an opening victory, despite firing 24 shots towards the La Liga side's net. It was a rough start after we Sam Ben Yedder silenced Anfield in the fifth minute. However, Firmino, who also missed a penalty, then Salah launched Liverpool into a half-time lead. Unfortunately for the Reds' faithful, Joaquin Correa's smart 72nd-minute strike shared the spoils. It's a results game but I am happy with a big part of the game, said a satisfied Klopp. My team showed desire, greed and passion but all respect to Sevilla because they never gave up. We created a lot of chances against a good defensively organized side but we didn't use them, that's the truth. But in football it's really important to keep going and there's a lot to take from this game that we can build on, Spartak Moscow 1-1 Liverpool Liverpool dominated the opening proceedings but Fernando's free kick sent the hosts into a 23rd minute lead. Before the break Philippe Coutinho's incisive 1-2 with Sadio Mane enabled the Brazilian to equalize. The Liverpool attack poured forward in the second half but a winner wasn't on the cards. Daniel Sturridge volleyed over from close range and Salah had a header clawed off the line in the closing stages. Maribor 0-7 Liverpool The Reds thrashed the Slovenian side to post the biggest away win by an English club in the history of the European Cup. A scintillating opening 20 minutes saw Firmino, Coutinho and Salah strike, with Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain scoring his first Liverpool goal in the Route 2. The wonderful history of this club can feel like a backpack at times so it is nice to write our own good piece of the history, reflected Klopp at full time, following the stunning attacking display. Our attitude was outstanding, we were spot on from the first second. We scored wonderful goals, played wonderful football and it looked like they were not very good but as difficult to play against us. I love the fact we stayed really concentrated in the second half, we controlled the game and it was a very mature performance. Liverpool 3-0 Maribor patience was the key at Anfield a fortnight on from that 7th heaven. This time the Reds had to wait until the 49th minute to assert their dominance, with Salah's clever finish from Trent Alexander-Arnold's delivery. 
James Milner's death layoff presented Ken the chance to side foot home, before Sturge came off the bench to boost the scoreline in the last minute. Sevilla 3-3 Liverpool a sublime first half and a second half to forget for the Reds. Firmino's brace, the first flying in after just 88 seconds, sent Liverpool into the ascendancy alongside Main's header. Despite the three-goal deficit at halftime, Sevilla were undeterred and gained a lifeline from Ben Yedder's header. The Frenchman was then clipped by Alberto Moreno in the box, stepping up to convert the resulting penalty. The Reds looked to be hanging on until the 92nd minute, when Guido Pizarro lashed in the equaliser. I don't doubt the mentality of the boys, not a bit, said Klopp in the defense of his squad. We showed already a fantastic mentality. We showed it in a lot of other games. It's not like this. Yes, it was not perfect, but it's not a general problem. Could we have done better? 100%. Do I think it's a mentality problem? 100% not. It's a misjudgment, Liverpool 7-0 Spartak Moscow Liverpool catapulted themselves into the knockout stages for the first time since 2009 with another goal blitz in the group stages. Kunho, captain for the night, fired in a hat-trick and orchestrated the devastating front three of Maine, Salah and Firmino at Anfield. Klopp admitted the attacking prowess of his free-scoring quartet must be intimidating for all the European powerhouses left in the competition. If we perform like this, if we are that clinical, then yes we can strike fear into opponents, added the Reds manager, having witnessed his side complete the group stages with a staggering 23 goals. If we perform like this then we are a threat, 100%. 4-2-0-5 Liverpool The pressure of the knockout stages certainly didn't show out in Portugal as the goals kept flying in for the Reds. Main was the man of the moment, securing a commanding first leg advantage with a hat-trick. Firmino once again got on the score sheet, but Salah's 30th of the season was a standout delight. A Milner shot ricocheted off the post and the Egyptian had the poise and skill to juggle the ball over saw with his head, before tapping in the finish. The confidence was oozing across the squad and Liverpool had one foot firmly in the quarter-finals. Liverpool 0-0 Porto, AGG 5-0. This was far from a classic. Main struck the post but the damage was well and truly done in the first leg. Still, Liverpool landed a quarter-final spot for the first time since 2009. It feels really good. The last date is cool, I think it was time we showed up again. Good development in Liverpool in the moment, it's a nice moment, but if you don't show up in a competition like the Champions League then nobody really will realize it, stated Klopp. I'm happy for all the people involved that we have made that step. So it's done, it's good, now let's carry on, Liverpool 3-0 Man City Man City's only loss in the Premier League coming into this all-English quarterfinal had come against Klopp's Liverpool and history would repeat itself in a raucous and rabid first leg at Anfield. Klopp's men jumped all over City from the outset and were three goals to the good at the break, that man Salah opening the scoring from close range before an Alex Oxlade Chamberlain Thunderbolt and Mainz header. Almost as important as the three goals against a shell-shocked City team, who had received an unsavory welcome in their bus, was the fact that the Reds also managed a clean sheet against Pep Guardiola's free-scoring side. Man City 1-2 Liverpool, 1-5 AGG, Guardiola's side had to make a fast start at the Etihad and when Gabriel Jesus fired home early on it looked like the tie was back in the balance. But with the Catalan manager sent to the stands before the break, the Reds turned the tide and confirmed their passage through to a first Champions League semi-final in 10 years. 
Mozzella and Roberto Firmino scored the goals that meant Liverpool emerged victorious both on the night and 5-1 overall to set up a semi-final clash with Roma. Liverpool 5-2 Roma yet another Salah masterclass, this time against his former employers, put the Reds halfway to the final with a resounding win at Anfield in the semi-final first leg. Salah scored twice while Main and Firmino, too, opened up a five-goal lead but, as always with Liverpool in Europe, there was a late twist in the tail. Ed and Jaco and Diego Perotti, the latter a penalty, pulled two late goals back for the Italians to give them some hope to take back to Rome, while Liverpool also lost Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain to a season-ending injury. Roma 4-2 Liverpool Liverpool secured their spot in the Champions League final despite losing a dramatic second leg at the Stadio Olimpico. When Main and Jorginho Wijnaldum notched either side of a comical James Milner own goal to open up a 2-1 first-half lead for the Reds, the tie looked done and dusted. But the Italians, who came back from the dead to down Barcelona in the last eight, had one last trick up their sleeve as Dzeko leveled up before Raja 9 goal and fired home a thunderbolt. A penalty from the Belgian came too deep into stoppage time, however, and the Reds survived for a 7-6 aggregate win, booking their flights to Kiev for what promises to be an enthralling final.